Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Get excited, okay? Today we are experimenting for the first time. We're gonna be doing a perm rod set on my new shortcut. I'm so excited, I literally cannot wait. And we're actually also going to dig into some really fun holiday glam, okay? So the makeup is gonna be something a little bit more glam that I usually do here on my channel. I'm just really channeling all the holiday vibes. I'm ready. I think the glam is really gonna be fitting with the actual hair that we're gonna have I don't know I'm just ex I'm expecting to feel real cute real glam and real snatched let's just go ahead and get it said I ordered this massive pack of perm rods man it comes with like all the sizes in here look at these these are so big they're like jumbo size and I think it's gonna work really well with the type of cut I have having some big curls on the top it's gonna be so cute Okay, so I have already um, washed my hair. It's just been sitting in this little towel, so it's still very much damp. Oh my <laughs> One thing about my cut, bro, it looks so weird when it's wet. Like, without volume, it just looks crazy. It's so funny. It's so funny to me. So yeah, freshly washed curls, zero products in it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mm -mm -mm. I deep conditioned with Curlsmith Ugh, every time every time it's just so good you know what I think what I'm gonna start to do is part my hair first and I think what we might do is a little side part which is kind of already what we got going on here we might do a little bit more like on this side right I think a side part would be fun to do so because we have so many different sizes I kind of want to save like the biggest ones for these here at the top so I'm just gonna start by sectioning out what I want so like for this long piece here we'll definitely be utilizing those bigger guys so I'm gonna section this out first I think by sectioning now it's just gonna make the whole process a lot easier and I'm really I'm not using any precise parting I'm just using my fingers to kind of just section it out a little bit I've decided to actually start with the perm rods at the back first because I feel like when you're doing perm rods the more that you do it like as you're going you get better and better and these are the ones that are gonna be on show so I'm gonna let myself make all the mistakes in the back first and then by the time we get to the front it's gonna be nice and smooth and perfect so let's pick which perm rods we're gonna use my hair back here is like literally so short. We got all the sizes. So I'll link this um, set that I got. I just ordered it from Amazon, got it within 24 hours. Amazing. The products that I want to use, I already picked them out. So I'm going to try out Heritage. So they have a heat protected spray and a curl enhancing foam. So these are the two products I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to take the spray first and just kind of dampen my hair a little bit. Is this going to spray? Come on girl, I need you to spray. Okay, false alarm. I don't know why that spray is not working. So instead, I'm gonna use my Uncle Funky's Daughter Maximum Thermal Protection Primer. It's another spray product. I honestly just need something to dampen my curls. I also love heat protectant sprays because they are always just so nice and lightweight. So you don't have to stress about your hair feeling like once your style is done. These little curly whirlies in the back are so cute. They're my favorite. Um, okay, so it looks like I think the gray might be the smallest so I'm gonna use literally the smallest size for these since it's so short all right and then I'm gonna grab the heritage curl enhancing foam and I am going to saturate this one section first and then boom so we've got our first one in. You can tell that I don't do this like super often. It's actually pretty loose back there, but you know what? We're just gonna let it roll. I'm literally just repeating those same steps for every single little section. I forgot how time consuming this is. <laughs> with my cut my hair is really short towards the back but as we get closer up to the front my hair gets longer so basically as my hair layers got longer I just kept sizing up on the perm rods which of course left the biggest perm rods for the front which is exactly what I was going for I kind of wanted big just just big nice curls in the front at the top Whew, these big ones are definitely more difficult to roll all right so here is where we absolutely cannot mess up because I feel like this is gonna be like the 
most like on the show part of my hair. So I'm gonna take my time and make sure that these are like perfection. Okay, finally. So we're done. My arms are killing me, okay? I literally forgot like how much effort this is to do this, um, but very excited. I did also pick up this hood. It's like a soft hood dryer from Amazon. Do, do, do. One of these is like 14 bucks, which I absolutely love. All right, so let's test it out real quick. Let me secure these properly. All right, so it has a little drawstring. I love it, it's actually really comfortable. This part of the Dyson, like by itself, is gonna be too wide to attach at the bottom here. So what I've done is just attached the regular blow dryer attachment. So that way we can secure it inside this thingy. Ta-da, so see, that's able to still get the airflow. And then it has like a little Velcro thingy to make sure it's nice and tight, and then you just turn it on. Literally, I can feel it happening. Okay, I love this thing. I'm so glad I got it. Okay, so I'm gonna go set this up at my desk so I can sit down and get some work done while I dry my hair, and I'll probably check back in with you guys tomorrow for us to really get into the fun part. Okay, we back, it is day two. Um, first of all, I need to let y'all know that that hood dryer is bomb.com. I really, really loved it. I sat down on my computer, did some editing, got some stuff done, so I loved it. Only 14 bucks, very affordable, I do recommend. And I also love the fact that it's connected to my blow dryer, which number one, I already love my Dyson. I already trust it to be nice and healthy and safe for my curls. And two, I actually turned the heat off on my dryer. So I did it with no heat. We didn't even need heat protection, but anyways, it's still fine. So yeah, technically we could call this a heat free style. I'm hoping it comes out good. Um, I did struggle to sleep with them in last night, which is the one and only thing I don't like about perm rods. Next time, I'm gonna wake up early and make it like a one day thing so I don't have to sleep with these because it's really annoying. But before we do take them out, I wanna get into a little bit of like really quick glam. I've already done my brows off camera. So let's get into this glam. Honestly, I feel like my level of glam is probably somebody else's level of natural makeup. <laughs> but it's definitely gonna be more glam, just a little bit, just a little bit more glam than what I normally do. So when I'm trying to look a little bit more glam, a little bit put together, I always like to add concealer on my eyelids. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. It is a cream concealer and I absolutely love it. This is the same concealer I also use to kind of carve out my brows to make them really sharp. But yeah, I feel like I'm just feeling like the end of the year uh, holiday vibes, which is why I'm like, you know what, let's just do a little quick glam today because when I take these out, I want to look cute. Like, I want to look real extra cute. Usually on my super glam days, I do do my eyes first. I'm not going to do anything crazy, um, but I am actually going to use eyeshadow. Usually y'all see me use my bronzer, just a little shoop shoop, and that's it for my regular makeup days. But for a little extra glam, I conceal and then I go in with real eyeshadow. So I'm going to stick with the browns. This is one of my favorite palettes by Melt Cosmetics. This is their Rust Palette. Like the most beautiful, warm toned browns and everything. All right, so I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's kind of similar to my skin tone. I'm just gonna start with that in my crease. All right, so nice and neutral. And I think I'm just gonna take it one step further just to deepen it just a little bit. Like I said, I'm not really going crazy with the eyes. I think where the real glam will come in is my lashes. So I don't really need to do anything extravagant on the eyes, but I am gonna give it a little bit of additional depth. So I think I'm gonna go in with this brown shade right here. It's like nice and warm. Boom, you see how pretty that's looking? It's looking a little smoky-ish with, without being like a full-on actual smoky eye. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do for eyes right now. We'll jump back to the eyes after we get into a little bit of complexion. 
So NARS launched a soft matte primer that I'm very excited to try out. So let's give this a try. Y'all already know how much I absolutely love their soft matte foundation. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. That is like my go-to whenever I need my makeup to look absolutely flawless and you know, have like a little bit of additional coverage. That's my go-to. Primer feels really good. It feels just soft and smooth. I like it. All right, so next going in with my NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation, I wear the shade Tahoe. Do y'all see this planet on my chin? Like, ugh. My hormonal acne has really been trying to play me. Next, I'm actually gonna grab a contour stick. This is a contour and a highlighter stick that I'm actually really obsessed with. It's by Oma Beauty. And I don't know what they put in this, but it is so creamy, it's so beautiful. Love the color, I just, I'm actually pretty obsessed with this thing. And the highlighter on the other side is my favorite. So I actually don't usually contour before concealer but i don't know i just felt like that's something i wanted to try today so we're gonna go with it cute okay so let's dig into concealer this is beauty bakery by the way almost black owned and so is beauty bakery i love this concealer this is the shade 11 sunday i love me some good concealer honestly I feel like this is really where you start to see the glam start popping off once you brighten. Also, do you see the soft matte primer doing its thing? Like we still have a little bit of a glow on the cheeks, which I like, but it's not like overly dewy anywhere. I love it. All right, so then I'm gonna go ahead and set with the OG Laura Mercier Honey Setting Powder. So perfect. And this right here is another step where I feel like the glam really starts coming in. Like, do you see it happening? So let's jump straight back in into the eyes really quick to finish them up. We're gonna get into some eyeliner. This is my favorite one by One Size, and this is the brown. It's I think it's called Busty Brown. Love the name. I personally prefer the way brown eyeliner looks on me, especially in the daytime. If it's nighttime, I could go for a little black, but in the daytime, I love brown because it's like a nice dark brown, but it's not as stark as a black, so it's really, really nice. And then I just take a flat brush here and just kind of smoke it out a little bit. So pretty. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do for my eyes is lashes, but I'm gonna wait on that. I'm gonna finish up complexion first before we go ahead and do that. So now it's time for one of my favorite parts bronzer favorite bronzer of all time is the charlotte tilbury airbrush bronzer so good which shade do i wear again number 310 i love it so much it's just so pretty and warm all right so i'm about to show y'all a trick that i noticed all the makeup artists are using so i'm gonna dip this into my bronzer just a little bit kind of tap off anything excess and then we are gonna contour the nose a little bit, but instead of just going down here, we are literally gonna take it all the way up to the brow bone. And this really just defines your nose, makes it more sharp, and it just, it really brings the glam vibes. Like so, so pretty, so snatched. Um, I am gonna go in with a little bit of additional setting powder here, just in the middle of my nose. My nose is snatched. Okay, new trick. I noticed everybody has been doing it and I love it. This is one of those makeup trends that I'm really, really loving. Before we proceed, let's just quickly set. All right, so now let's dig in to some bronzer. I love this bronzer right now. So this is Bare Minerals and it's the shade But First Coffee. Like, look at that. Isn't this like the perfect mix between like a blush and a bronzer? It's like that perfect brownie, reddish kind of shade. I love it. It's just gonna go really nicely with the bronzer. Oh, it looks so good. Love it. Okay, so back to that Oma stick I was telling you about. This is the highlighter side. I need y'all to get into this. It is so, so pretty. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I found that my favorite way to apply this is with my fingers. It just, something about warming up the product just makes it act all the way right. This is so pretty. This is such a pretty look. I feel very impressed with myself right now. 
Okay, so lashes. It's time for lashes, yes. I love these. These are Velour lashes. I think I've probably worn them way too much, but we're gonna push it for one more wear. This is the lash style called Sinful. Oh my gosh, like... One of my favorite lashes ever. I did actually end up taking off my lash extensions. I'm planning on writing a full blog post about my experience, what I liked, what I didn't really like. So if you guys are interested in hearing a little bit more about that, make sure you subscribe to my email so that way you know exactly when my blog posts and everything go live. But I did miss my regular lashes and I also missed being able to kind of like glam out every once in a while with some really big lashes. So here we go. Hello lashes. <laughs> Oh, nice literally I think this has to be my last wear I've had these way too long and yeah it's gonna be my last wear but they're so pretty aren't they so last thing to do now is put on a nice lip and then we can get into this hair I'm very very anxious to see what my hair looks like actually um, so what should we do for lip I low-key want to try something new but I'm not 100% sure how it's gonna come out but how about we try like a brown and orange ombre kind of vibe on the lip what do you think because I think I always do my regular brown lip liner beige on the inside with a little gloss on top I want to do something a little bit different so let's go to try and see how it goes this is my favorite brown lip liner at the moment. Well, one of my favorite. I have two favorites. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Pillow Talk 3 in 10. So I'm just going to line the lips first. Isn't this such a pretty brown? Oh my gosh, I love it. It's my favorite orange lipstick of all time. This is the Nima Tang collab with Dose of Colors. Obsessed with this, but I have literally never worn it with a brown lip liner. And I don't know what it's going to look like. But here goes nothing. Wait. I feel like it, it is actually a vibe. Hold on. This is cute. This is cute. This might have to be my November lip. Like this is so perfect for fall right now. Wow, I, wow. So I think it's time for the moment of truth. We're gonna take these perm rods out. Look at it, look at this, look at this. Some of them look, some of them look a little frizzy. I mean, they look shiny. You know looks pretty good like this one feels ooh, this one feels good except for the root here <laughs> but um yeah I'm nervous I'm nervous but we look cute we look really really cute so let's just go ahead and take it out and see what happens well, I'm gonna start from the bottom so let me separate them so cute it feels good though feels like soft and nice ooh I like the products that we used my hair feels nice. I just feel like I'm about to look so different. So all of the ones in the back are done. This is how we're looking. I feel like the real excitement is about to happen right now when we do these ones in the front. Look at this, look at this, look at this. There's some of them you can tell that I just got lazy, my arms were hurting. But this one, super, super cute, look at that. I am so about to look like my mom right now. This literally feels like a curled blowout right now, and I'm shook. Wow, the jumbo curls, I think they might be my favorite. They're really cute. They are really cute. I love how loose they are. Oh my goodness. This is actually the cutest thing I've ever seen. So like, tell me why my hair looks like a wig right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm literally just going to fluff it out. I'm just gonna keep fluffing, especially like in the back here. Heat free curls, y'all, and a completely different style, a completely different person without having to sacrifice the health of my hair. You know what? I feel like a black 2021 version of Shirley Temple right now. That's how I'm feeling. <laughs> and I think with even additional frizz, like I'm actually gonna run my fingers through some of these curls because the mo frizz is the mo cuta that this gets. I don't even understand. I don't even understand. <laughs> okay, so here's a little twirl. Boom. So let me give y'all a little close-up tour of my new hair, okay? 
this is how it came out. This is so cute, y'all. We're definitely gonna have to do this again. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, do you love? What should I try either differently next time or what should I try next? Because last night when I was putting these in, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know about this, but now nah, it was worth it. It was worth it. This is so cute. This is something so different. And I'm really interested to see what you guys think. So, so excited. Let me know what you guys want to see me experiment with this cut next because honestly, this cut is everything, okay? I'm convinced that we can do no wrong with this cut. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for experimenting with me. So glad it was not a fail. I love that for us. <laughs> I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.